Welcome back to I Got Wire. I'm Adam, and today I'm gonna upgrade my home network to 40 gigs using this Dell S6000 switch I bought on eBay for around $140. So 40 gig for $140, in my opinion, isn't that bad. Uh, the only bad thing is the switch doesn't have a web GUI. You have to do everything from the command line. And then once you configure the management ports, then you can putty into it using any computer. But I bought two 40 gig dual port cards here, one for my PC and one for my Unraid server. And then I bought some fiber DAC cables to go from this to my PC up here. And then I also bought a breakout cable. It goes 40 gig and then it has four 10 gig SFP plus ports on it. So I can connect it to my switch aggregation so I can get this thing internet. So this, when you plug it in, all the ports are turned off by default. So when you plug it in, you won't see any activity lights. You have to console in or SSH in and turn the port on. And then I also found out when you use this breakout cable, you have to set the port so it'll switch to four individual ports. So that way you can configure each one of these SFP plus stack connectors. So on my home network, I already created a management VLAN that doesn't have any internet access. It's just strictly for my local LAN. So that way it's more secure. So I'm gonna get the switch configured using the console cable on a static IP on my management VLAN. And I'll show you how I set that up in PFSense here in a minute on my PC. And then we'll SSH into this switch. And I'll show you how I configured port one to work with the breakout cable. All right, this is my gaming PC here. This is my 10 gig card that I have in it. Here is the 40 gig card. We'll go ahead and get this slotted in. So I got the 40 gig card slotted in there. And then this is the 40 gig DAC fiber cable that I'm going to use. It's a ENET 40 gig DAC cable. So I'm going to run it down and run it through this brush plate right here. That blue one is my old 10 gig connection. So we'll run it to this brush plate here. And then on the other side of the wall, we'll run it straight down to my rack. So I got the fiber in here. And the work box is right here behind my little mini rack. I'm going to tape this connector with the cover on it to my glow rod and stick it down my pipe and I'll show you guys the other end and my rack downstairs I'm sure you can hear that switch it's a little bit loud but it's out in my garage so I won't really hear it or notice it that much so I got it taped on I'm just gonna shove it down the pipe here so there's my cable I'm gonna finish pulling the rest of it down I'm gonna do cable management and run it into the side of the rack because it's too short to follow this bundle. And then I'll plug it into the front of the 40 gig switch and show you how I configure the port to turn it on. So I got the fiber ran down. I got the side of my rack off. Don't like the cable management in there. And then this is the fiber coming out. I got it right here. I'm gonna plug it into port two on the switch here. And then now we'll go upstairs and configure that port. All right, now that we got the switch racked up, I got the ethernet cable plugged into the management port and I got the management port set up with a static IP on its own VLAN for management. It has no internet access and the only thing it can talk to is really nothing. I can only talk to it from my main network. So I put it on VLAN 41. I named it Management VLAN and PFSense here. And then Services, DHCP Server. If I go to Management VLAN, I have it turned on, but I have a wide range here as you can see. And I set it as 10.40.41.4. So I set up the static IP on the Dell Switch management port itself. I used the console cable and set that up with its console cable and then in unify network on the switch i just hit settings and did networks and you hit new virtual network and i named it management vlan i just put 41 and then third party gateway since i use pfsense i don't use ubiquity's router i like pfsense more so i have the dell switch the management port plugged into my usw enterprise 8 poe and it's plugged into port 6 so i named it dell 40 gig switch i have it set on my management vlan and as you can see here it pulled its static ip that i set on the management port 10.40.41.4 so we'll go ahead and ssh into it ssh my user that i set adam and then at the ip that it's at and then there we go dell right now we're in the enabled part that's why you have a number sign there so if you type in conf you'll get into the config part where you can configure the port so i need to configure port 2 to be on and to be on vlan 1 which is my main you know network vlan so my pc's uh 40 gig connection will come up because by default all the ports on that switch are turned off for some reason i guess security but we'll go ahead and 
turn on port 2. And when you have the asterisk, when you're in able mode, uh, if you type in show interface status, it'll give you the status of all your interfaces. And this right here is my breakout cable. There is, you know, one, two, three, four on each one of the breakout cables. And right now I'm just using the one. It's connected at 10 gig and that's connected to my ubiquity switch aggregation. And then one, two here, that's the 40 gigabit connection to my PC. At the time when I ran this, it wasn't enabled yet. So I ran a command here, excuse the errors. I was doing this from a web page trying to figure it out. I don't know all the commands, but I was in config mode and then interface FO 1-2 that's port two on the switch. You do no shutdown to turn it on, and then you do switch port, make it act like a regular switch port, like on an ethernet switch, and then switch port mode access. I guess that gives it access on VLAN one. And it, I tried to do a command here, access VLAN one, but I guess by default, it just does VLAN one, unless you do another VLAN. Right now we're still in config mode, so if you hit end, or if you type end, you'll be in enable mode, I believe is what you call it. And then if you right click here, click on paste, show interface status there is port 2 it's up and it's connected at 40 gigabit per second and i did have a static ip set for our dhcp reservation set for my pc but since it's a new card it got 192.168.4.33 so i'll show you that here on my pc so i did a ip config and here on my pc 192.168.4.33 is its new ip address i ran a speed test i have two gig down and two gig up with at t it's like two and a half gig I think. So I got pretty close to that just to make sure I had internet access. And then here on my device status, it says I am connected at 40 gigabit per second. So we're going to run a quick iperf test to my Android box. It still has the 10 gig card in it. So that's the bottleneck. So we should see around 10 gigs. So we'll go ahead and type in iperf3 and then you do dash c and I have a server running on my Android box. So I'll type in the address of my Android box. And we got about 8 gigabit per second. So we'll go ahead and do a dash capital P and then do 4. And we should see a little bit faster speeds. Uh, it's about the same 8.53 gigabit per second. But once I get the 40 gig card in there, it'll definitely be faster. So like I said, if you haven't checked out my Discord down in the description, go ahead and check it out. And it'll be posted in my Discord once I get it installed. And as you can see, that blue cable there is the fiber DAC cable. And then there underneath my graphics card is the 40 gig card. So I still have put this 40 gig card in my Unraid server. That is what this other fiber DAC cable is for to go from the Dell switch to this 40 gig DAC card, but I'll just run that iperf speed test between the two machines and post it in my Discord. And my Discord's linked down in the description if you want to check that out. I'll do it in this video, but this video has already ran long enough. But I'm just happy I got 40 gig networking in my home lab. Just to say that I got 40 gig, I don't even think I will come close to using that much bandwidth, but it's still kind of cool to say you got it in your home lab. And it wasn't that much. I think these cards were like 30 bucks on eBay. I found a really good deal. And then these fiber DAC cables, I think they were like 20 bucks on eBay, $30 depending on what seller you find. But if you want to do 40 gig in your home lab, I'll have some Amazon affiliate links down below for you. And they don't cost you any more money. It just helps me out. If you click on them and buy something, I get a little bit of a kickback from what you buy. It helps out the channel greatly since I'm not monetized yet since I'm not at a thousand subscribers. If you're not subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and ran some fiber to your subscribe button and smashed it for me. I will be doing a giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers to show my appreciation for all you guys. I really do appreciate all you guys taking the time to watch my videos and coming along with all my shenanigans I uh, do on this channel. But that's all I have for you guys today. I'm Adam and I'll see you guys on the next one.